Hey, it's Bill here, and I guess that was awesome hockey. The Leafs win 4-3. What an awesome game. It was not an awesome game. But, you know, if, I am so glad. I am very, very happy that I didn't see Brian Boitano, figure skater boy, his comments after the Edmonton game because I <laughs> that would have got bad as I've said to everyone before how awesome it is to watch awesome Brian Boitano awesomely skate around the ice I've said it many times Unfortunately, this team has taken over Mitch Marner's attitude. While it was a win tonight, and we'll get into the win. I'm happy about it. Uh, there's a certain, I get those comments about uh, Austin Matthews not being a, a, one of the best players in the NHL. <laughs> yeah, you're morons, okay? I just watched the game tonight. The guy gets four goals. He's on pace for 71 goals, which I think hasn't been done since Timu Solani. But yeah, get, you, you tell me he's not one of the best players in the NHL. You keep you keep going on that that little that little thing. And by the way, not the I, I'm a Leaf fan, but obviously you've heard me torch the rest of the Leafs. I don't wear the Leaf rose colored glasses for the team, as you can plainly tell. Austin Matthews is the most talented player to ever play for the Leafs. It's not even close. I love Wendell Clark. I love Doug Gilmore. Hell, I love Gary Volk. Hell, I loved the Bill Berg, Mark Osborne, Peter Zezel line. I loved it. I love that defense, the Bob Rouses, the Sylvan Lefebvre's, Dmitry Uskevich, I love them all. They're not even anywhere near, anywhere near Matthews. Matthews took over that game, but we'll get into that in just a second. Because again, it was so awesome. The problem with the team is they've got Mitch Marner's attitude. I, I said at the beginning of the, the year, they, they needed to trade Mitch Marner. You got to get rid of that attitude. It's a horrible attitude to have. Everyone's against me. Uh, it's like a Gen Y. He, he, I, I, he's like if Brian Boitano was like in grade eight. Oh, I played awesome, coach. Uh, uh, we really lost, but I, you know, it was an awesome effort, everybody. When you lose four straight games with leads, three straight, where you've got a one goal uh, going into the third period. And by the way, they really blew the lead tonight. We'll get into that a little bit. But that lead left. Another two-goal lead, one-goal lead going in the third period. It should have been gone. <laughs> awesome. He's like a grade eight kid. It's ridiculous. Uh, does, uh, does no one coach this guy on how you handle the media? Like, I get it. You don't like the media. You're so hard done by. Your dad tells you you're better than Connor McDavid ever since you've been four. I get it, right? If you, if you want to get a good check on that, just check out Paul Warren or do a Google search. I don't know too many parents that get banned from arenas, but yeah, Paul, Paul was. So just like we got William Nylander's dad. And by the way, William had a bad game. I don't care what his points were. He didn't play very well. He didn't try. The Tavares line was a disgrace. And we'll get into that in just a second as well. That's the problem. They've taken over this attitude. Matthews, of all the good things about Matthews, I don't think he gets, he's just not a, he's not a natural leader. He's just, he's just not. John Tavares is awful. I mean, he just doesn't talk. You know, oh, guys, I think we played good tonight. Well, well, we're going to look at John Tavares' stats in the last four games, and, and they've got a stinky ring to them. And he really should have been minus three tonight, but we'll, we'll get into that in just a sec. So I'm going to finish off with the awesome bull crap. Could, could someone just make sure that this, this, this kid, because that's what he is, he's a, he's, a, he's a spoiled little brat, stays away from the media, Oh, I don't care what the media says. You guys are bringing it in. You guys can talk about a frustration. You wouldn't say that if you didn't listen to it, you f effing moron. Yeah, we don't listen to you. You do, you dummy. That's when you when you say something like that, that means you do listen. You know about it. If you didn't listen, you wouldn't even know about it. So you do listen. So when you come off like that, you sound an idiot. I like the people like, oh, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, okay. When you say that, it means you do care. Just keep this coach, Shanahan, whatever. Don't have Mitch Marner talk to the media because it doesn't. <laughs> he, 
you wonder why he's hated. You wonder why he's hated. I hate him for a lot more. I, I really don't hate him for the media stuff, but I hate him for others. Like, I hate him for his $10.8 million contract. I hate him that he can't show up in the playoffs. I hate that he's a choke artist. Anyways, let's get in the game. First period, it was absolutely atrocious to watch this. I, I At one point, like I'm going to see what Jake McCabe's turnovers. Jake McCabe turnovers. They've got turnovers on here. No, they don't have turnovers. <coughs> Why wouldn't you have turnovers? I apologize <coughs> for this. And of course, now i got a cough. There's got to be somewhere where they keep the stats for turnovers. I couldn't count on two hands. Two hands. I lost count of how many times that Jake McCabe turned the puck over in the first period. If you if you combine all defensemen in that game, uh, you need like seven hands. The puck was just constantly turned over for the first 18 minutes of that period. Uh, so let me give you, maybe there's another one where it gives you the actual, I usually they got giveaways. That's kind of crazy that they don't have giveaways. Uh, let me see. Uh, game summary. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of game summary. Uh, I apologize. I should probably be prepared for this. Uh, but giveaways. Oh, there you go. Takeaways. Giveaways. They said the Leafs only had six giveaways in the game. <laughs> I would like to know the definition of a giveaway. I think giveaway is if your puck is on your stick and you hand it to the other team's stick, that would be a giveaway. Jake McCabe nearly had six on one shift. Holy crap, six giveaways. Yeah, who's who's counting that? I, I, okay. Anyways, it was a horrible first period. The defense looked awful. Everyone's stuck in mud. Noah, McGre Noah Gregor makes a mistake at the blue line. And somehow Austin Matthews goes between the legs and fires it. 2-1. The Leafs should have been out of this game. Now, the interesting thing today for the Leafs was they didn't have primary assists. They actually scored the goals. So Mark Giordano scored the second goal. And Timothy Lilligren scored the third goal. So two AHL defensemen, two AHL defensemen, you heard me, AHL defensemen, scored goals for their team. No secondary and primary assist tonight. We we went we went above that. We, we we took that to the next level and scored on ourselves. If I'm Martin Jones, I'm looking around going, "You son of a." Anyways, Austin Matthews, boom, it's two one. I'm sitting there going, like, I, I I'm already frothing at the mouth, watching this friggin' first period going. My God, they might lose this game six nothing. That turned it around. The second period, they came out full of piss and vinegar. And Matthews dominate. He just he's fine. This 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 guy scores goals from anywhere. The second goal, he fires it from nearly an impossible angle. He's done this so many times. The third goal was a fantastic pass from Nylander to Marner on a power play. Beautiful. Now again, Nylander has a couple points. That's good to see. He didn't put an effort forth at all for the the whole night. An effort. Like an actual effort to get back and, and actually throw hits. Again, he had plenty of times one-on-one -on -one and pulled up. So I'm not impressed. Still not impressed with what now Neely is playing. I thought Marner was pretty good tonight. Again, it's regular season. What can I say? But that was a nice goal to make it 3-2. And then, again, it's Matthew Nice taking a shot at the net. And Matthews uses the defenseman. He just used him like a rag doll. And backhands it in. You're up 4-2. So let me get this right. The, the way the Leafs are going to win games is get down 2 nothing, play completely crap, and then do a comeback. And, of course, they came back to a two-goal lead. And then shortly after, I got to tell you, I can't, I'm watching Mark Giordano play hockey is just very, very challenging. Just awful. What was he doing on that third goal? Anyway, the first on, the first goal. Let's go on the first goal Calgary scored. Okay, The guy tips it in. John Tavares is right there. I have a video. I'm not going to do it because I don't really want to edit because it's, what, 12, 17 a.m. right now. I, don't, I just don't feel like editing. But watch the first goal. John Tavares is right beside the guy who scores the goal, and he doesn't take a stick. This is a, this is an $11 million player who's – oh, sorry, I'll, I'll phrase – well, he's playing good defensively for us. Oh, yeah, is he playing good defensively? John Tavares playing good defensively. Here is John Tavares' stats in the last – four games they've got the similar ring to it uh you might recognize this ring 
because I've probably said it every single time. John Tavares tonight, uh, zero goals, zero assists, which gives you zero points, and minus two. That's four straight games. Four straight games with the same line. Zero goals, zero assists. Now, he played 18 minutes tonight. He usually plays 17. Zero goals, zero assists, zero points, and minus two. That means in the last four games, he's got zero goals, Zero assists, zero points, and he's minus eight. I guess he's going for the Masters. We should get him a green jacket. And then to freaking, he was on for the third goal. So Calgary tied it up. Connor Zeri ties it up, but it was called back on a hand pass. But check out who's on the ice. That would be Johnny T. He was going for a minus three tonight. He was going to really bump it up a little bit. He was going to minus three. Every time that that line was on the ice, they put, put Bertuzzi on the line. That line couldn't get out of the zone. Like, I don't understand. What is this love affair with John Tavares? Am I watching a different game than everyone else? Is the game that I'm watching different than what everyone else is watching? Huh? Now, it's been going on six years. Everyone tell me how great John Tavares is. For six years, he's how long has he been with? Seven years? I don't. Six years, I think. Right? He's been he's been awful, and I'm going to guess the seventh year is going to be even worse. He's not a good player. Now it would be embarrassing. I get it to put an eleven million dollar person in the press box, but if we did put him in the press box, we'd be way better off. Again, zero goals, zero assists. I saw some stat. He hasn't scored a power play goal or a five on five goal since. Like the last 26 games. Like he's got one goal in 26 games or something. He's It's the same as Brian, or Brian Reeves. Like, <laughs> whoa. So he's a power play specialist. He's Tim Kerr. Okay. We got a power play specialist we're paying $11 million for. You can't put him on defensive places either. Why don't we do, why don't we do ourselves just something? Just put him on the wing, please. Put him on the wing. We can't hurt you as much. Yeah. It seems pretty easy to me. Put him on the wing. Or put him in the press box. Or put him on Robidoux Island. That's even better. Anyways, for all you ones that have made your comments about Matthews, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the time I get to smile at you. Matthews took that game over. Pretty much single-handedly won it for the Leafs. I would give an honorable mention to Martin Jones, an honorable mention to the video guys, or video girls, I don't know, the video team, for catching that freaking hand pass. I watched the game. I was watching it live. I didn't. I thought, actually, Tavares touched it. That's awesome. That's how we win a game. That's how we, not, we don't blow leads. Yeah, that happened the other game. We cut an offside. Still didn't help on the Edmonton game, but they did catch an offside, stopped another, stopped the Zach Hyman goal. Great job, video team. We should give them A pluses. So I've got a positive. We might have the best video team in all sports. Good on you. Good on you, Austin Matthews. I thought Marner was all right. The defense was was horrible from beginning to end. It's just a bad defense. They can't get it out of the zone. Maybe Benoit. Hey, by the way, Giordano who was awful tonight, I, I, just awful. Like the third goal, that that's embarrassing. Uh, he's too old. He's, he can't play the game anymore. What did William Lagason do to someone that he doesn't get to play another game? What did, what, what did he do? He's got, did, he, did, did he punch a guy in practice? Did he did he call Sheldon Keith a name? Because tell me, Lagason, like, he, what did he do to leave the lineup? I didn't, I don't, I don't remember him giving up goals like Giordano did on the third one. I don't remember him getting blown by every, by every time he gets on the ice like Giordano does. Why don't we put William Lagason in the lineup? You can remove Lilligren or Giordano. I prefer Giordano. I would. I prefer Giordano. But Timothy Lilligren is just horrible. The Brody was, was bad. Riley was bad. Just bad defense. Especially in that first period, it was really bad. Anyways, the Leafs win. They play Vancouver on Saturday. Woo-wee, Saturday. And by the way, just in case you're wondering if the Toronto Maple Leafs, I, 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 I love my Montreal Canadiens and Edmonton Oilers and, and Calgary Flames and all the other Winnipeg Jets, Vancouver Canucks. I love all the Canadian teams. They think they're important. You're not important. You're not even close. 
You want to know why? Because the Toronto Maple Leafs dominate. How many places do you get an Austin Matthews hat trick and hats go on the ice in the opposing arena? This happens everywhere the Leafs go. The Leafs go to Buffalo, it happens. The Leafs go to Ottawa, it happens. Montreal, it happens. You're not... The Leafs are the most dominant team in Canada when it comes to making money. So when they're playing Vancouver, wouldn't that be the late game, everybody? Wouldn't that be the late game? They they would start at 10 o'clock on a late game. I wonder why they start at 7 o'clock. I wonder why they start that game 4 o'clock, Vancouver. What, what, What could it be? What could it be? Oh, ratings. Oh, they make more money. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. So Montreal Boston doesn't that sounds like a pretty good matchup. No, no, no. That wouldn't get viewers. What was gonna get you the viewers is the Toronto Leafs. So let's put that at seven o'clock because the commercials cost more at seven and we make more money. Yeah. The Leafs are the most dominant fan base team in this league and it ain't even close. Anyways, they play Vancouver, then Sunday they gotta play Seattle. I see the Sunday games late. I'm gonna again lose a little beauty sleep, not happy about that for Sunday night. Anyways. Hope you enjoy. Cheers. See you Saturday.